Heel Taves here, back playing some more House Flipper, and we are once again checking out the new Pets DLC for House Flipper, uh, early access that I'm looking at here. So yeah, this I'm going to take you through the, all the animals basically, basically all the animals, <laughs> all the animals you can get in this DLC, how you get them, uh, how they kind of work, what you can do with them and stuff. So once you've finished the first job, so if you watched my previous episode with the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, you finish the first job, you then get this new tab that comes up in your laptop, which is Morgan's Pet Care. So this is like the adoption centre or something. It doesn't really massively explain. Um, and you can have dogs and cats and bunnies and rodents and reptiles and birds and fish and snakes and spiders. And there's a bunch of them in different... In each category, there's quite a few of them have got different options and stuff. I'll show you them actually outside in a minute because I've got a whole bunch. But this is quite interesting. So you get... So, for example, that most of them are dogs. So there's quite a lot of dogs. There's a few less cats. There's like two bunnies. There's a bunch of different rodents and things. I'll show you all those in a second. But, so you see the in this dogs tab. And then these are all the ones I've got available at the moment. I don't know if more get added and that maybe as you go through you get more. But I've picked up a load. Um, and so each animal, there seems to be like a bunch of different breeds. So, for example, dogs, we've got beagles. We've got Australian shepherds. Uh, we've got Alsatians, we've got uh, Dobermans, I'll show, as I said, a Pomeranian, I'll show you those in a sec. But what is quite cool is that you'll see, so here I've got an Australian Shepherd that's a puppy, uh, male, is that male? I don't even remember, maybe that's the female symbol, I can't remember. Um, but we've got another one here that's got personality traits of helper, rascal and energetic, the same breed same it's a puppy again this one's got different set is that a different set no okay those are the same hang on let's just suss this out because i'm sure i'm right so bit so beagle a young beagle energetic neat rascal stubborn energetic neat affable fussy eater yeah so they've got like individual personalities for each dog which is kind of cool and this is this will manifest itself in, in the needs that they have. So basically, you pick your animal, you say, take care of, you give it a name. So we'll call our Stephen. Um, and then it just pops up like magic in front of you. Hello, you're my bestest friend ever. Um, we'll, I will love you for the rest of our lives. So yeah, you can like swing him around and stuff up with him, point him down on the floor. Um, and as I showed you in the last episode, there's like a little menu of options here that you can, so you just click on him press interact on him um, and you get some of these choices so you can pet him which is kind of cute you can big him up if you just saw you can have this toggle to like follow or stay so he'll either follow you around or not give him a treat because all dogs all animals have a treat um, and that's like how you train them and things so apparently you can and then like you can play fetch come on bring it back come on fidget 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 yeah, get some hustle get some hustle um yeah and so at the moment this guy has no needs but he'll get like hungry and he'll get like mucky and he'll need like cleaning and things play a bit of tug of war with him probably get bored oh i haven't actually worked out how to play with casual tug of war yet doesn't kind of seem like it works in the same way as the others do because then i'm like i'm thinking that's it but he doesn't casually kind of doesn't really doesn't seem to do it so I don't know what the deal is with the tug of war. Um, yeah, and then they'll just like randomly do stuff. Can you sell? You can't sell him. You can't squirt or hose him. You can't do anything horrible to him. You can't hit him with a hammer. Any of those terrible, awful things. So if we go outside, we'll see all the other menagerie that I've collected. All the things. So there's just going to be like dogs running around. Uh, <laughs> cats all over the place. Um, and they all, as I said, they all, a lot of them have different like personalities and things. So let's just, let's see what the cat, so the cat right now is unhappy. Oh, his happiness is low. So what's up with you? Is it because you're dirty? Right, okay. Well, maybe we need to pet you for a minute, see if that cheers you up. Uh, okay, so yeah, that was all he needed. He's just, now he's fine. Now he's a happy cat or she. Is it a she? I don't know because I've known them all Stephen. It's very confusing. So you can play with the give this cat a mouse. And all the other mouses. All the other cats will come and run. Look, see the other cats. All the other cats are coming. 
It's chaos. There's animals everywhere. There's a rabbit there. Let's see what the rabbits can do. Uh, the rabbits are really cool, actually. So you can, like, pre-build... You can buy these, like, pre-built sets. <laughs> rabbits kind of... I mean, I have to say, it's pretty, like, silly, but it's really cute, this, guys. So this rabbit is a lazy Stephen, as is, and he doesn't have any needs at the moment. So this is like my kind of rabbit. This is my kind of pet. He doesn't need anything from the world. He's fine just being Stephen. So give him a treat for being the best Stephen he could be. What other things can we do with you? So he can play with Teether. So I don't know what this is, but if you're a, if you're a rabbit person, you're probably well up for for that, and you probably understand what's going on. But he's not bothered. <laughs> He's lazy. He's not bothered. He doesn't want to play. This guy does. What's your deal? My name's Stephen. I'm a bunny. I'm lazy also. Okay, good. Fine. Let's have a look at some other animals. So we have, um, I can't even remember what's in here, but some other creature. Is it a guinea pig? Is it a guinea pig? No, it's a hamster. So like the little hamster's got his own little, <laughs> his own little world. How cute is this? Can I pick you up and say hello to you? All the little dog, <laughs> dogs come to say hello. I don't think we could do much with you, but you're wonderful, joyous, and I love you. Um, so we've got fishes, we've got more fishes over here, we've got more fishes over here. We've got a great big bloody lizard thing, which we can put some food in. So yeah, it looks like some of them you can pick up and play with, and some of them are just like, yeah, you just... You just do you, Mr. Lizard Man. Probably called Stephen. Um, we've got spiders. I know people, some people don't like spiders, so I won't linger on this for too long. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Oh, we're giving him some cockroaches. Let's close that quick. So yeah, some of them don't do so much. <laughs> There's a snake. Oh, we're putting an egg in there for him. Oh, is he coming out to eat? Is he literally going to come out and eat that? Oh, you're creepy. Creepy, I don't know what to make of you. Oh, <laughs> that's just like chaos. Um, what was in there? So that's another, I think that's another snake. So there's two types of snake, there's two types of spiders. There's the bunnies. We'll come back to the bunnies in a second. Um, these are pretty cool. These are guinea pigs. Look, ch check this dude out. He's got his own little like castle thing. Um, I can give you some food. Use my strangely extending arm give you some food but I can't pick you up I don't think we've got a bird he can have some food as well so it looks like some of these are like low maintenance background background fun um, oh I can can I go in no can I be one with you birdie you seem like you want to kill me but we'll just dogs are all fine Um. so yeah I'll show you the, the rabbits as well so, like, in your store now, let's just go back and reset that. So, in the store, in this tab, which I can never remember what that is, it's like furniture and, and the gubbins tab. Let's just call that the gubbins tab. There's now a section called pets. And in here, you can, like, buy all of your, your tanks and things, which you get that when you automatically, when you, like, first buy the animal or adopt the animal. Hold on, there's all, like, kinds of fishes going on in there now. I only put one set of fish in there. Okay, somehow they've moved from one tank to the other. I don't understand, but yeah. So you can, so you've got this new section, um, and actually, like when I was looking through this, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So there's like gates. So I think you can like make your own rabbit enclosures and stuff. So like we get a preset one there, but we can make our own. I mean, it doesn't seem like it really matters too much. I guess this probably has to go on the floor, right? Hmm, I don't really understand how that works. But, oh, it's okay. It's okay, I wasn't coming to disturb you. But yeah, play around with that, guys. It looks like you can make your own kind of enclosures and stuff. I don't know. It's all a bit chaotic. And then there's like beds and there's feeders and things. Um, And I want to, the only thing I haven't really checked out so far. Oh, there's a turtle somewhere as well. Where's the turtle go? Uh... Oh god, no, don't put, pull that pull that away quickly, Toves. Oh, here's the turtle. So it's like a turtle terrarium, I think you'd call this. There he is. I think technically he's a terrapin. I'm sure someone will tell, tell me in the comments. He doesn't do much. He's just chilling. 
It's just chilling. Um, and yeah, they also they'll need like food and things. So like, there's like automatic feeders, and then there's things for cats for them to climb on and be catty. There's like a thing up there for climbing on. There's a wheel. There's a strange like put your put your cat in a box and look at them through glass thing. Which I, is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. Let's find a dog. Here's a dog. Right, come here. Come here, Stephen. Um, let's see if we can give you a, a bath, because I haven't seen how this works yet. This is a thing. So I can put you... I can put you in there. No way. Right. So I can't... Because I can't just, like, squirt you with the hose. Interact. No, that's the... How do we do this, then? Oh, here we go. Oh! Interesting. And then he gets to come away. <laughs> So I don't know if maybe that was because he wasn't mucky. Let's pick him up again. Maybe if he was actually if he was actually in need of a clean. Or did I just like click it too quick? Let's have a look. I mean no dogs like having their having them getting cleaned and things. So in I don't quite understand how this is supposed to work. Okay, so I did suss out how this works. So it is it does depend on the how clean or dirty the animal is so see I'm getting a little progress meter there and then I can dry him off and then I can pick him up right, my favorite so far I'm sorry there is definitely a favorite I'm really sorry of all you other animals where is where is my favorite I, I really like the bunnies. The bunnies are super cute. But where's my where's my like favourite? <laughs> Where are you? Are you down here? Stop stop following me, all the dogs. Oh this. <laughs> oh dear, you don't look very happy. Oh god, it's chaos. There's one. There's like a big one. There's a big. Where's the big one? <laughs> there should be like a whistle. There should be a whistle function. There's a cat just eating some food. There's a cat that seems to be permanently stuck up there. There's a mouse. I don't know where my dogs have gone. I'm a bad... Clearly I'm a bad... Oh, there he is. He's he's stuck. There's a few of them stuck. Right, so you're going to come with... Um, oh, Let's play with you for a sec. See if we can get you to be happy. So yeah, they can all like do fetchy things. And it looks like they all kind of... Um, Interacting. So oh, well, I haven't done the cats, have I? Where's the cats? Cats are kind of cute. Um, yeah, it looks like they're getting kind of stuck back there. Let's find a cat. Yeah, the, the the play things with the cat are really cute. So there's like the mouse one, which we saw. So there's yarn. Will you jump down off there? I mean, cats generally have that attitude all the time, don't they? You're well up for it. Cat could not be more, le <laughs> could not be less bothered. Classic cat-like behaviour. Yeah, so there's like something weird when they're on like a thing. There seems to be like a glitch there. Okay, we've got a cat come over. Thanks for coming and hanging out. So he's like playing with that. And then there's this feather one as well. Whoa! <laughs> Some uh, crazy, crazy physics going on. Well there. That's another cat. So this is... <laughs> this is... Oh, God! No! Don't mow the... Never mow your pets, guys. So, yeah, super exciting, guys. As I said, it's coming out on the 12th. If you're watching this before that, uh, otherwise, go grab it now on Steam. Uh, you can wish list it and all that sort of thing. I think it's basically the same price as all the other DLCs. Uh, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of houses. We're going to be talking about those and some, some other mechanics and things in future episodes. Uh, do, don't forget to drop a like down below. It really helps me out. And I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.